good morning boys and girls so you may already be able to tell that it is crazy hair day here at school um but we are going to go ahead and jump into our lesson for math today um our lesson is on unit cubes this is preparing us to be able to find volume of three-dimensional figures but before we can find the volume by using the formula we want to find the volume by being able to count the cubes so we understand what volume is so when you're looking at cubes, you have to count the boxes as one unit cube. I'm gonna grab my cubes really quickly. So I've got this big bucket over here of unit cubes. So a cube is basically um, a square on top, bottom, and all four sides. So it is a six sided three dimensional figure that has square faces, okay? So this cube counts as one unit. It is one unit cube. So basically we see these images on the screen that have a lot of these cubes put together. So that first image that we see that the mouse is on on the computer looks just like this. This is this image on the screen. So in order to find the volume or how much is inside this shape because remember it's a 3d shape so you want to know how many unit cubes make up this shape we've got to count our unit cubes you can count them on the screen by going one two three four five or if you have unit cubes or you want to draw it out you can count them here one two three four five so how many unit cubes make up our first shape five unit cubes that's right so you would just put five unit cubes your job is just to see how many unit cubes make up the shape that's on the screen. Let's look at the second shape here. And I like to put like a dot on the shape so that I know I've already counted that dot. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This shape is made up of seven unit cubes. This one can be a little tricky because you actually cannot see all the cubes that make up that shape because this whole bottom level is covered up by these on top. So we're gonna count the ones on top and then we're gonna count the ones on the bottom. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six shapes on our first level. But we can only see one, two, three, four, five, six shapes on our bottom level but for these to be stacked on top, they have to have shapes underneath them. So right now we have 12, but we also have 13, 14. We already counted that one, right? This shape and this shape are the same. So that actually does not count as a 14th block, okay? So if you count this block, you cannot count this block because it's the same block. So we can move to here and that'll be 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. This shape is actually made up of 18 blocks. And it may be hard to see that, but I have it made. So let me grab it and show you really quick. So I grabbed my shape and here it is. You can see you are looking at the shape kind of like this, but you see we have one, two, three, four, five, six that we can see on bottom and one, two, three, four, five, six that we can see on top. But what is really hard to see from the picture is that these are stacked on top of each other. So it's like I have two separate shapes that have been stacked. It's really hard to see the bottom of the shape from the picture, but when you're able to envision a, a shape being stacked on top of another, you know that there has to be this number of cubes underneath it for it to stack on top, right? If there was not a cube underneath, it would fall through. So you have the whole bottom, and the whole top so we can count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen so we did get 18 cubes another way you could have done this is said well that bottom shape is four by three i know that four times three is 12 so that whole bottom that we see on our screen is going to be made up of 12 pieces then we counted the six on top and 12 plus six is 18. so your job for today is count how many unit cubes are in this shape right here 
I'm going to put a discussion post below. So not a wiser assignment, just a discussion post. I want you to comment how many unit cubes make up this shape. Remember, even if it's hard to see them in the picture, they're there, okay? If you have any questions, please let me know and I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow.